hello everyone it's good to be with you today again um, I just wanted to share with you something that I've that has helped me that I've been doing uh, for the past week in the past two weeks that I felt was very very useful and helpful in how I was looking at things and how I was visualizing things so today I wanted us to talk about anxiety I wanted to to you know to share with you how I was looking at it so for our opening exercise and how I would like us to proceed with this exercise is in your mind in your mind's eye I would like you to think and to look and to visualize how anxiety would look like it may look like an abstract painting it might look like something that is abstract it might not necessarily be a painting it may look like something that has legs and arms it may look like something that's just a shape what shape is it what personality what color it may look like something that's up there in the air or something that's very close to you you can visualize it any how you want so for our visualization exercise and how we're going to look in our mind's eye so you can create pictures so sometimes it might be very uncomfortable to close your eyes it's okay you can just think about it as well you can just open your eyes as well so but I'm going to, for my purposes of this exercise I'm going to close my eyes right five four three two one I have a picture in my mind right now what would my anxiety look like but I just also wanted to share how I created and how I worked with my anxiety when I was uh, not feeling like, um, so well so for our I just as we have visualized and uh, we have a picture in your mind what anxiety for you would look like I just wanted us to first describe what it is so what I said here is anxiety is a feeling of being nervous of nervousness uneasiness restlessness uncertainty and dread so this is how I've said what in my anxiety is okay so the other thing about anxiety how you would feel about it so it affects you on a physical and emotional level so obviously when you're physically not okay and emotionally it affects you mentally so this is how you would see um, anxiety so I want you to be thinking about this picture that you have in the, in the mind so add some aspect of it that are physical add some aspect of it that are emotional so this is how you would um, see anxiety in the physical so if you are shaking, so if there's this level of shakiness, sweating, fast heartbeat, heart rate is very hot, for no reason you're crying, you have stomach pain, you have difficulty breathing, you don't know why, it's just a feeling that makes you, you're not sick, you don't have chest pain, but you have difficulty breathing, you have headaches, and you have trouble sleeping. So this is just my card that I wanted, how you would see it uh, physically. And then, I just wanted to also just describe how you're going to see anxiety emotionally. So you are jumpy, you are irritable, you are tense, you feel tense. Your mind goes blank at times. You're feeling there's the feeling of dread that we talk about. You have lots of thoughts, just thoughts that are just flooding your mind. That's that feeling of uneasiness that I described in the end. And you fear going crazy. You like it's it's not gonna happen. So I just want you, as you are talking, I want you to incorporate how do these, how do you experience this feeling? And also, when do you experience the symptoms? So the ones that I described emotional, the ones I did describe physically. Okay. So these are all the things that you're going to be adding in all your pictures that you've created and also the visual and mental picture that you have in your, or how you represent. So what I wanted to share, is what I've done on for myself uh, if you could focus here so for myself this is I've shared with some friends also during the week this is something that has really really helped me dealing with my anxiety and how I could just look at it in terms of color how I could look at it in terms of reflection breathing my eyes my thoughts how I could describe it 
so I, I shared with, with with another group and but I just felt like I just wanted to share because it was so helpful so I use glitter so this is red glitter this is oh beautiful beautiful gold glitter so I use this as glue I mean it was such a playful it was such a elementary part but I really really enjoy so and then I used these papers they feel so nice so these are colored papers and then what I just used I took just an A3 piece of paper as you can see like just just like so and then I had a blackboard just like so and then I I just this was stress relieving doing this exercise was stress relieving doing this was the most stress relieving thing and then what I just did I just so this is what it looks like in the end this is what it ended up looking like but it was such an important part of my visualization and my anxiety and then what I just did put it on the piece of paper it's flying around and I just put the boards and then I just started placing my papers anyhow open my glue spread around it around the whole paper and then I just paste it and I just and then I, I was just using my hand you know that hand coordination I'm just using my hand all of this was done by hand with the glue I mean it was I, my hands were full of glitter my hands were so dirty but it was such a great stress relieving exercise I mean you can use anyhow and then this is what came out I mean I just really really love it for what it, it brought for me and how it helped me release uh, stress so this is how it looked like this is how it looks like in the end and these are the the normal data glue that I used right and just a board piece of paper joining me in doing and learning about what anxiety is the feelings that we normally have of uneasiness of dread of nervousness that we're tense so we've described what it looks like emotionally we've visualized how it looks like I've described a bit what it looks like physically and I'm hoping that you can start to recognize some of these parts in yourself so as we've you've thought about representing it as an abstract concept you've thought about representing it as a human a monster a pet this was all to for you to develop strategies how to look at anxiety before it comes to you sometimes we know what's okay now it's about to hit okay I'm feeling a bit tense I don't know what no no, no I do not know what's bringing this feeling or what's bringing this about and then you can deal with it appropriately this is the whole point of being able to learn about your anxiety okay now I'm starting to sweat I'm feeling like I'm sweating or I'm feeling uneasy I do not know I'm not uh, or I'm starting to feel irritable but I do not know what's causing it so this is all about we're learning about anxiety what we can do so I have put my anxiety on this piece of paper so this for me represents just the elementary pieces of how I use anxiety so for our ending I just wanted just to, 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 to recognize it I just wanted to share and as you reflect with yourself in your own time I normally journal because then I can draw things I can think things through and I would like to invite you to journal to draw to do anything that you like that would represent how anxious or anxiety might come to you or might trigger, and how to recognize it because I think that's 50 percent of dealing with the issue when you can truly recognize what I'm about to feel anxious or I'm feeling anxious so that when you are in the middle of the uh, of the feeling you can take a deep breath and know what anxiety is and know why is what is causing and how you're going to deal with your anxiety appropriately thank you so much for being with me today and listening to me sharing about how i've learned about anxiety hope to see you next time goodbye thank you for joining our online open studio we hope to see you again soon please remember to send us your artwork and creations you can post it to any of our social media sites and tag us or send us an email.
Open Studio is supported by the Mary Oppenheimer and Daughters Foundation and Rand Merchant Bank.